Hey, Shubi Doodlers, how are you doing? It's Mother's Day this weekend in the UK, and don't tell my mum, but I've made this card for her, and I'm going to show you how I did it right now. But let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. Now, I'm using Arches Aquarelle Watercolour Grand Satiné Hot Pressed. It's 300 grams, 140 pounds. This is a very smooth surface. I love this paper. And then I've scored it down the middle and folded it in half to make a card. And I am planning probably to take a little bit off the edge and maybe a bit off the top and the bottom when I'll kind of sh square it all up afterwards. So I'm thinking of having kind of my ball of flowers roughly about like that. And I'm gonna have them growing out of a little flower pot. You could probably hardly see my pencil lines because I know uh, I'm going to have to erase them later. And in my last video, I showed you uh, how to draw f flowers from different angles to get that kind of feeling of a 3D sort of a an arrangement rather than just a lot of flowers stuck on the top. Using this little disc, I showed how to see a flower from, from different angles. And if you're still a bit confused, <laughs> click up here and go and see that video. So I'm thinking I want... Um, one straight facing at me there and then that one's going to be a little more angular and then that's going to be more angular and so this is like a, a, a thing of marguerites you know a, a flower pot full of marguerites which you kind of get so it also looks a bit like a disco light ball at the moment doesn't it so I'm going to zoom in a little bit and what I'm going to do is put these circles so these are going to be the the sort of cushions in the middle the the sort of stamens and anthers or whatever it is in there don't hmm, i don't know and i'm just going to very very gently do this um where the petals are going to go like this and i really am pressing very very gently because i know that if i press too hard <laughs> Then the I won't be able to erase anything when it, you know, and all the pencil lines will still be there. So I have my little rinky dinky paint set here, <laughs> and I am going to start off with yellow, and I'm going to make sure that's clean, so it's got some green in there from last time, and I'm going to put these yellows in there, and I've forgotten to pencil the. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten to pencil in the uh, petals up there. So I better do that. So I'm not trying to do a photograph or anything here. It's, it's very much a kind of a design and a sort of wishy-washy kind of thing. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to take a little bit of red and put that. Oh, that's too much. Get some more yellow in there. And I'm just going to kind of add that around the edges there just to Give a little bit of sort of shape and moulding to those little cushions. So I'm using a water brush here. All the water is in the handle and it flows through the brush. And I think I'm going to have a bit more kind of orangey, bricky kind of... Mm, need a bit more brickiness in there, I think. Yeah, I like that. And so I'm going to... Oh, that's maybe a bit too much. So I'm going to put more yellow in there. So I'm going to draw, this is like the um, that kind of rim around the flower pot. And then that's the bottom part of the pot. And I'm just going to kind of do that. And maybe, I think I'm going to have the sun coming from this direction. So I'm going to drop in some kind of darker color on this side just to make it give it that bit of extra color in there and next I'm going to squeeze the brush to get some water on there so I can clean up the palette so I always have my little uh, paint pot here and <laughs> Uh, a tissue or a serviette, it depends if I've been to McDonald's or something, it's usually a McDonald's serviette, it's whatever I happen to have. So with the yellow, I try to take the yellow from the edge, because I know I'm going to be mixing some green in with that, there may be a little bit of blue. And then I'm just going to go all around this. Um, 
and just kind of highlight where the flowers are really. I think I'm going to speed through this because I need to concentrate and if I keep talking then I won't. <laughs> won't be concentrating will I? Now I know some people will be watching and you know <laughs> freely admit that they're a little OCD they'll be going oh you're going over the lines yes I am and uh, I'm not worried about going over the lines at all they're just a guide and and I think you know if you really yeah you can stick to the lines if you want and you'll have a very precise kind of painting but if you want a, a kind of a loose kind of free looking kind of picture then don't worry about going over the lines <laughs> that's for six year olds to worry about really and well you know there are one or two grown-ups i know i know i understand i understand <laughs> and I'm, I'm not criticizing or complaining it's just the way we are we're all different so i'm quite happy doing more um loose should we call it loose yeah pat who's one of my patrons on the uh, patreon she calls my style lucy <laughs> she keeps saying i want to draw more lucy and and it's uh i think particularly for some people some people who are very mathematical and minded and geometrically minded and very tidy they find it quite hard to to kind of let go and and i think that's that's not a problem just don't you know do what do what is natural for you i'm just a very kind of slapdash guy. <laughs> loose <laughs> kind of um artist i think that's just the way i do it and i know some people will be wanting to you know draw every leaf and you know get them all perfect but um I, I think I've been through that, and, and particularly now, I, I think I think it's this brush that uh, changed an awful lot in me, and I think I've just become very happy with this brush. I know, I, I, uh, <laughs> Patreon, my my dear patrons, they um, you know, are, 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 they all have their favourite brushes, and and I'm just well, I have my favourite brush, and this is it now. And it's not very expensive. <laughs> it's, 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 what's it? It's the uh, Pentel Aquash. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. But I found this um, brush, and and I found just a few things that I really really like. And I think that um, you know you can spend a lot of time playing with different materials and trying things out. But I think you only find something that you can work with and that you respond to and it responds to you i think you know just stick with it and and really get to know it and master it and uh, rather than spend your whole time trying to you know master new <laughs> new techniques and things like that <laughs> do uh, do your best with what you got at the moment i can't believe it this the sun has come out hasn't it so i'm gonna drop that down there that's better isn't it <laughs> I get more green in there, maybe a touch of blue. And so, and now I'm going to be doing this in very much a kind of a, a splodge splodge kind of way because I want to get this kind of leafy kind of feel to it. And I've said it many times, and I will probably say it in every single video I do about watercolour. That it's all about building up transparent layers, and if you, you know, it's not getting a great scoop of paint and slapping it on there. It's all about the water. That's why they're watercolors. <laughs> it's coloured water. That's what it is, and and the light is the coming from the paper, and it shines through the uh, the transparent layers that you put on. And those transparent layers have to go on one after the other and you build up the layers and build up intensity. And but you're never get the brightest you are ever gonna get is the white of the paper. That is the bright part. And if you you know, in, in your paint set you will get a white in there and yes you can at the end put little highlights in. 
and yet they're just never quite the same. <laughs> I, I find, you know, I, I go to an auction every now and then or something, and I look at these beautiful old, um, you know, classic English watercolours that might be for sale, and some beach scene or something like that, ships in the distance, and some are you can t they just oh the light just sort of shines off them because the the white is the white of the paper which may have yellowed over the years <laughs> and then some of them the white all the highlights are little flicks of white paint on the top and they're just not quite the same they haven't quite got the same life in them so if you so I think a lot of watercolor is about planning ahead and kind of knowing your medium and knowing how it works and thinking I'm going to need some white there so I have, I just leave that alone for the moment. <laughs> this doesn't look anything like a margarita at all really, but I'm not putting any kind of leaf detail in. I'm not intending to put any kind of leaf detail in. So now I'm thinking I need to have more. Need it to be darker down here because this is where the sh shadow is. So I'm going to kind of spot my way. So underneath these petals will be darker because they'll be casting a shadow, and then that will also help you to lift the flower off the background too having it definitely darker underneath like that. You can see that now is kind of lifting off. It's like a, a drop shadow in uh, Photoshop if you do Photoshop. And I'm just going to put smaller and smaller little um, leafy bits in here as I come to the top because this is where the light is and I want all the main dark bits to be down on this side as if I was shading a sphere and I think I can add a bit of blue into that oh that's probably a bit too much what time is that good um, <laughs> I'm looking at the time because I have to take my mother to a hospital appointment this afternoon. Nothing wrong, don't worry. <laughs> We've been waiting for this appointment for two or three months now, so we don't want to miss it. Uh, uh, uh. I also don't think she's in a hurry for her. <laughs> oh, the doctor's just incredibly busy, and it isn't an emergency anyway. Now I'm going to go back to this pot. And I think I just a little bit of actually I had some neutral tint in there just to make it a bit darker. And I'm gonna put that there as a kind of shadow underneath, and then we're gonna get a shadow underneath here as well, aren't we? So I'm gonna do something like that. I'm gonna go for neutral tint with a little hint of blue in it, I think. And I'm gonna come here and I'll just put a bit of shadow in there. I'm just going to let the brush <laughs> wash that out like that. Now my trusty tool is the hair dryer. So now I'm going to erase all those pencil lines. So we're getting this really kind of soft kind of feel to what's going on. And I'm thinking that I want an, an horizon line. And so I'm thinking that I'll put a bit of grey into that. And I'm going to try... Oh, that's too much. That is just too much. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to pull this down and let the water flow out of the brush and just thin the whole thing. And then maybe try and wash in that little mistake I made there with that bit of green. And have I got it horizontal? Yes, I think so fairly. So now I have to kind of match this up on the other side. So, so if you've been following my 
videos over the years this is quite unusual isn't it because there's no pen and there's no definite um kind of straight lines it's <laughs> nothing to work to so how does that look it's about there isn't it and i think maybe we might need a little bit more definition just around there I'll just do that and then I'm thinking that these these white flowers around the corner here are not really white are they because they're um, they're in the shade so I'm going to put some kind of blue in on this side like that and those are going to be fairly so I think there might be a little bit of shade on this side like that <laughs> and maybe there like that and here maybe there and then maybe i think yes something like that that's catching pretty much all of it there so i'll just put a little bit in there and then i think i think we want to do some gentle uh, some gentle kind of dabbling in to get these kind of shadows to make them pop just that little bit more in underneath here but I do want it to keep this kind of pointillist kind of um, dibby dabby kind of <laughs> brush strokes I'm sure there are technical terms but dibby dabby is, I think you probably know what I mean uh, maybe a few more around there. It's just sort of helping to, because that those, you know, the petals would definitely be casting a shadow on the greenery underneath. And I think we need a bit more under these ones too, like that. So this has pretty much been done entirely from memory and. And it's very much a design. It's not a, a sort of a portrait of a plant or anything like that. It's it's kind of something you might do for Mother's Day, uh, a card for Mother's Day, and uh, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> so there you go. How to draw a pot of marguerites for Mother's Day. If you like that, please like this video and subscribe to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel on YouTube. Check out my Patreon page for lots, lots more. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.